Crafty friends, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I created a super fun amusement park scene card using the platform pop-up die. It is no secret that this is my favorite interactive die. So you die cut two of the platform pieces and then three of the T pieces. I die cut these from cilantro cardstock. And now I'm folding on all of the scored lines. So we're going to fold both of these exactly the same. I'm folding it away from myself. I'm going to do that for the second one as well. And the, this is so easy to put together, you guys. But like I said, this is my most favorite interactive die from Lawn Fawn. And Lawn Fawn has amazing interactive dies. But this is my favorite. I just think it's so simple, but it's so fun. And you can do so many things with it. Okay, two of those T pieces I'm folding on the score line and the third one I'm cutting on the score line. Now we're going to add some double-sided tape, some double-sided adhesive to that bottom flap, to the bottom part of the T. I'm going to do that on both of those T's and both of the platform pieces. And then we can start getting this assembled. So let's flip it over. We're going to flip both those pieces over, slide that T piece through the hole, we're going to pull this up, making sure that T piece is nice and snug, remove the release tape, press it down, remove the second release tape. We're going to fold this up again. We're folding on the already folded score lines and then pressing that in place. Now we have half of our platform die. I will show you that again on the second one. So we're going to flip both of these over, sliding that T piece through that hole, making sure it's snug removing that release paper and pressing it down. And then we will fold this up one more after we re remove, excuse me, remove this release paper, tuck that down and press it down. And now we have our second half of our platform piece. Now we need to add some more double-sided adhesive. I'm gonna add up on both of these little tabs here, both on that right side when you flip them over. I'm gonna add some on the back of this T piece. This is going to be in the center so you'll have three T pieces in your platform die. I'm going to line this up. I'm lining actually the top T part up where the score line is. And then we need to add some more of this double sided adhesive to the other piece of the platform pop up die. Once we get that in place, we can get this put together. So I'm going to remove the release tape tape off of this little flap and fold it over once everything is lined up nice and straight. And then I can remove this release paper and fold this in half. And I like to make sure that my edges are nice and straight because you don't want a wonky platform pop-up die. So I'm making sure my corners at the bottom are nice and straight and everything is good and cohesive. Let me get that turned one more time. And then I can remove the next release paper on the last little flap and then I can tuck that in and press that down and we have our platform pop-up die. Okay, so let me show you. You can fold this down, pop it up, and there's our platform die. Okay, I we're going to do some zig coloring. I stamped a lot of images from the Wheelie Great Day stamp set and the Coaster Critter. So the Wheelie Great Day is newer and the Coaster Critters is an older stamp set. So I have my colors of my zig markers. So the rabbit is light gray with a little bit of pale pink for the ears. The bear is mid brown and then the little frog is light green. So all of my critters are going to be colored the same. I'm not going to show coloring all of them because again, they're all the same. And so what I like to do is I have a little bowl of water. I have my paintbrush and a paper towel. I add a little bit of my color where I want it to be the darkest. And then I dip my brush in water, tap it off a little bit on the paintbrush or excuse me on the paper towel and then blend from the darkest out to where I can have a lighter area. So I'm going to naturally get some highlights and some shadows when I do it that way. I use light pink for the cotton candy and then that darker pink is just regular pink. Then we have orange, lemon yellow, 
pink. We're going to color the last little roller coaster um, with cobalt blue. And then I can add a little bit of turquoise green for the stripes going down the sides. I am keeping all of my colors to this color combination. And it's so bright, fun, colorful. It feels like spring and it also feels just super fun with this amusement park. Now I'm showing a blue gray color here for the roller coaster and for the Ferris wheel. I actually changed that off camera. I decided to use a uh, beige color. I thought the wood roller coaster would feel a little more, I don't know, timeless. So I did change that. I am still using that blue gray for the buckets, the little bucket seats, I guess, um, for the, um, oh my gosh, the, <laughs> Ferris wheel. My brain forgot what it was called. So I'm using the same colors that I colored the roller coaster carts. I am coloring these, but there's five seats and I only colored four roller coaster seats. So I ended up coloring one of the bucket seats, the turquoise green as well. I'm using those same five colors on the, like the little ticket stand and the little food stand. I'm going to do that and then use the, uh, beige to give it that wood look. And I'm gonna color the other one exactly the same, but I will do that off camera. Now we've got some balloons. We've got a cluster of balloons, a couple single balloons. And I just think these images are so cute. I just, I love this whole set. I'm using the cobalt blue for another thing of cotton candy. And the tickets are the cobalt blue as well. Now I am going to Again, this is that blue gray, but I opted later to change it to beige. And that's, but the rest of it is gonna be exactly the same. So I want to color these seats on the Ferris wheel the same as the little buckets that we already colored. Now you don't have to do it this way, but I've got my little critters that are gonna sit inside. So I'm taking each one of those same colors. So turquoise green, pink, cobalt blue, ye lemon yellow, and orange. I'm not worried about coloring the bottom because those other ones that we're gonna die cut out are gonna pop in there. So I used all of the coordinating dies to die cut them out. Here are those little seats I was just talking about. I'm gonna put all of those in place. And I have three critters that are gonna go inside. So we have a cute bear, a bunny, and a frog. I opted to leave two of the Ferris wheel seats open, but I'm just gonna put those in place with a little bit of liquid glue. And look at how cute that is. And I think it looks so much better with the beige color. And I'm gonna kind of go back and forth because I was just kind of thinking how I wanted to lay this out. In the platform pop-up die, they have a little hill die and they have grass dies. And I die cut both and I was deciding if I wanted grass inside or the hill. I opted for the hill. Now, because we're making a scene card, basically, I am going to stagger some of these images so you can see all of them. So the Ferris wheel will be in the very back layer, but staggered to the left. I added a little bit of that double-sided adhesive to the bottom of that because I do want the roller coaster itself to be on the front. And so I laid it out a little bit off camera and I know that I needed the Ferris wheel on the left. So I have my roller coaster here. I'm marking it with the with a pencil where I need to score it so it can fold and go around the platform pop-up when it's open, or excuse me, when it's popped up. So now that I've got that in place, I can fold it and it'll fit around and it'll go on both sides. I have done this before making a scene on the bottom part of the platform pop-up, not just on the inside or the, uh, the platform part. And I love this so much. I feel like you can really expand your scene. And again, this is my most favorite uh, interactive die. So I'm gluing on my last little grassy hill. So all three of those are grassy hills because I've kind of figured it out in my head what I want to do. Now I can add the roller coaster, I'm having it up a little bit because I want it to go above the front of the platform. And I'm also going to add the grass die, but I need to trim it down to fit the front and the two sides. I'm not doing anything on the back half, just the front half of the platform. So I'm marking that with a pencil and I'm gonna trim that out with a paper trimmer and then I can adhere these right in place. I'm lining that grass die up at the bottom 
I'm just using some tape runner to put that in place. And as you can see, our little scene is starting to come together. Once you get some of the major big pieces, then it's time to go in and fill in with the little pieces. So obviously start with the big stuff and work your way down all the way to the little stuff. And then you can get a really nice, good layout. Let me add one more piece of grass over here because we're going to have a little element on this side as well. Okay, now I have a piece of acetate that I cut and we have one of those little, little singular balloons. And anytime you're at an amusement park, if you look up, you're always going to find some random balloon floating in the sky. And I just had to add that here. So somebody lost a balloon. I'm going to adhere that with a little bit of tape runner and a little bit of liquid glue on the back piece there. And you have this fun pink balloon just floating away because sadly somebody lost their balloon. Then I adhered the, a bunny and a bear behind two of the little roller coasters. So the one roller coaster is going to go on the side. Then we have the next one that's going to go behind. So you have the bunny. Then you have the bear. And I was trying to figure out where this balloon needed to go. And it, I actually ended up giving it back to the bunny because I didn't want to block the little food stand with a balloon in front. Then we're going to have a little stand off to the side there. We'll add some of that little cluster of balloons. And this is going to be the ticket stand, which I think is really super cute. And I'm tucking it behind the little grass die. And I have two tickets that I'm going to adhere. I thought this little bunny was going to be holding a ticket. And then I was like, no, it needs to hold some cotton candy. So again, I'm, I apologize for kind of going back and forth. I was thinking it through as I was doing it. So both of the tickets are on the left side there. Then the bunny is going to hold the pink cotton candy. I'm going to add one more roller coaster, empty roller coaster, to the top of that ride. The bunny is going to adhere on that little front hill. And then we have the bear who's going to be buying cotton candy. So I added that last piece of cotton candy to our little food stand. And then because I was so excited about putting all this together, I went, oh yeah, I have to stamp things. So I took them back off. <laughs> And now we're going to stamp the word food on our little food stand. And then the ticket one I adhered with liquid glue, so I can't get that one off. But what I did was I folded back the grass pieces. And I'm just using an acrylic block. I folded back the grass pieces, and I was able to get the little ticket stamp in there. Stamp that down, and then I just folded the little grass pieces back down. So if you forget to stamp your sentiments because you're so excited about putting something together, Never fear, you can get it done. <laughs> then we have one more sentiment that's gonna go on the bottom in front that says, enjoy the ride. And that is from the Coaster Critters and it's so cute. And let's look at this finish. Look at how darling everything is. So I put everything back together and we have this fun amusement park platform pop-up card. And it's so colorful and so fun. And when you close it, that's how it looks. So I would definitely put it in a bigger envelope, but it is darling. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. Bye.